the Ludoco 2 is an important, well-designed uh, trial uh, coming after the Ludoco 1. In the Ludoco 1, it was presented a few years ago, uh, um, about uh, uh, 500 patients uh, with stable coronary artery disease were, uh, uh, were enrolled uh, and the colchicine was given uh, for the first time uh, at a low dose of 0 0.5 milligram per day. Uh, and uh, the, this study proved uh, to reduce major cardiovascular events by about 30%. And uh, so the autos uh, uh, wisely planned a, a larger trial with a, a stronger design, a double blind multicentral trial that uh, enrolled more than 5,000 patients, so 10 times the patients of the Rodoco 1. And uh, the results uh, are impressive because using a low dose without the loading dose, they were able to replicate the, the finding of the Lodoco 1. So colchicine uh, reduced it by uh, about 30% uh, of the uh, major cardiovascular endpoints, uh, combined, but also, uh, also uh, um, each uh, uh, component of the primary endpoint were uh, reduced by mortality. So these results are quite impressive. I think that uh, in uh, clinical practice, this suggests that colchicine could be considered uh, uh, an efficacious uh, and a safe uh, tr treatment to be added on top of uh, a standard anti-inflammatory um, standard medical therapy for uh, uh, um, um, coronary syndrome. And we have evidence putting together the Lodoku 2 and the Colcot that this drug is also efficacious and safe in patients with acute coronary syndrome. So the cool spectrum of coronary uh, syndromes could be treated uh, with colchicine added on top of standard anti-inflammatory therapy. What is important, and these are lessons that also I learned in the treatment of patients with pericardial disease, is to use low doses, uh, as in the trial, because about 10% of patients will not tolerate the drug because of gastrointestinal side effects. And the other important aspect, do not use a loading dose because this could increase the gastrointestinal side effects. Uh, so as a clinician, we should be aware of potential interaction of the drug. So if the patient uh, using statins, such as in patient with coronary syndrome, we should be aware of this. So we have to monitor uh, blood tests, including especially the blood count, the transaminases and CK, to, uh, to uh, be uh, safe in the treatment of this patient. So I think this trial had a new piece, uh, probably is, is a changing paradigm in the, in the treatment of coronary syndrome. It probably we have an, a new uh, old, but and cheap drug with new cardiovascular indication that could be used in our clinical practice.